Yeah. Okay, I, 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 I'm pausing it again. Is there an actual way you can just drive a car onto a train and it takes you to France? Cause that's, that's tight. What is going on guys, it's JJ here, back with a new video, and this is a video at your guys' request. Um, I think we're going to make this a mini-series. Obviously, there are some copyright implications that will happen with these videos, so we'll have to be very, very careful of that, um, and I understand any copyright stuff. But, we're going to start Top Gear. It is one of those shows where I feel like having seen what was it, the best British car So that we took a look at the channel. If you haven't seen that video, by the way, definitely go take a look at it on the channel. Uh, feel free to subscribe while you're there. Obviously, always up to you. I had an absolute blast watching the best British cars version. I've seen some of the specials, uh, like, here and there, like, while sitting at restaurants. And I've always wondered what the car TV show was. For some reason, I always thought it was American. It very much is not. Uh, and it very much is hilarious. So we're gonna take a look at Top Gear. Uh, this is season one, episode one of Top Gear. Season one, episode one. Don't know when it was filmed. I know the one that we saw was the, the, like the best British car one was 2003. And that, I mean, that's 18 years ago. But we're gonna take a look at this for the first time. And who knows, maybe we'll, maybe we'll continue in season one. Maybe we'll skip around to some of you guys' favorite episodes. So who knows? Let me know what you guys wanna see down in the comments below. Let's get into the video. As well, guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. Hello. Now, two family hatchbacks, the Ford Focus and the Volkswagen Golf. Both have five doors, both have 1.6-litre engines, and both cost around £12,000. That's how much family hatchbacks cost. Or do they? You see, on Top Gear, we found one that you okay. can buy um, No tricks. It's kind of weird with just, like, the random people standing in the back. Obviously, I think now they do, like, huge crowds, or they've had crowds at the TV tapings. But this is kind of weird. This is a little, like, they're just kind of standing behind the cars, not doing anything. Like, it's a little awkward. Slightly. Like, just, it's an observation that I noticed. It's a little weird. Brand new for less than £9,000. This is it. It's the Citroen Blingo Multispace, and I admit, it's a curious... Dude, that car is so ugly. That's because it started out in life as a van. All they've done is add some windows here, sliding doors, some snazzy seats where the cement... <laughs> God-awful looking car. God-awful. Used to go... I'll, I'll, I'll stop. And hey, pause okay. Garnish it with some metallic paint, some alloy wheels, and you can even have a diesel version for £8,995. Thing is, though, are you getting what you pay for? Is it like cheap wine? Will you wake up with a headache? Well, to find out, I took it down the M20 to the Boozboro for a trip to those supermarkets of Calais. Ah! First impressions are that I'm driving... Dude, he is mad entertaining. It's quite echoey in here and not terribly refined. Um, most central locking systems, for instance, these days they go... Mmm, or... But listen to this. It's very uncouth. In essence, Dude, the, it just the looks like an is very loud. Very Van Halen. But there is a softer Van Morrison option. For the same money, you can have a 1.6-litre petrol engine which develops the same power as a Mark I Golf GTI. With that under the bonnet, this would feel much more like a normal car. But how many normal cars have you ever come across that have got green dashboards with green Ugh, dials? Just that colour, that and teal colour is disgusting. How many normal cars are there with five glass panels in the roof? And these roof bars which swivel sideways so you can carry a bicycle i don't get it this, the car doesn't make any sense to me no doubt about it the Belingo is turning out to be astonishing value for money what he's taking it to france it is possible to buy a number of other cars for Belingo money but none of them will be this size, none of them will be this well equipped, and none of them will have something that we're really looking for on this new series. Dude, of where is he going? 
It's an X Factor. Okay, I, See, I, 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 I'm this. pausing it again. Is there an actual way you can just drive a car onto a train and it takes you to France? Because that's, that's tight. That's, that's, oh, what? This is a perfectly acceptable car, but this, I don't know, it's more than a car somehow. Mm, no. It's you want to bring of... it in at night, let it sit by the fire. No, I don't. Give it a saucer of warm milk and a little wheel to More like a broomstick to get it away from the house. It's got the most important thing that a car can have. Character. No, it does not. It does not have any character at all. The car is ugly. And now the coal is back in Newcastle. The Berlingo oh, is I thought it was going to France. Where it came from. Oh, it is in France. What the hell? And I still can't find anything really wrong with it. The turning circle's not much cop, and there's a fair bit of road noise. It's not How much did they get paid either. to push this car? Because it, was, it wasn't it enough. But it is very comfortable. Hand on heart, it rides like a Jaguar. I could go on all He day. definitely is chatting out of his ass. He is chatting out of his ass. There is no way. There is no way. Not even that it looks that bad. There's just no way with the shape of the design. About, but the fact of the matter is, basically, I like it. Right, here we are at one of those Calais hypermarket cash and carry booze warehouse jobs. And boy, have I got the car for the job. Let me show you what I mean. We've got storage space up here, up here, and here above the driver. In the back, there are two... Are they going to fill this entire car with boxes. booze? And then, we slide that open. We've got a cubby hole here under the floor, and another one there. Then we simply fold the seats down, like so. And we it have has a lot of space. I will boot. give it that. And I haven't finished yet, because if we open the tailgate, there's another overhead locker here for a further 10 kilograms of booze. So, let's shop. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what I mean, like, they turn stuff like car shows into I this. Want, um, that one, that case there. It's all terribly exciting, all this cheap booze. But you have to be careful, because if customs suspect you're bringing stuff back that's not for your own personal consumption, they'll confiscate it and your car. And they're currently confiscating 30 cars a day. Really? So I caught up with the shop's owner and his girlfriend to talk about this. Because the, I was reading in the paper that if I were to put 500 bottles of gin in the car, which I'm legally allowed to do. Absolutely. Customs are so boy, well, you'd never get through all that. How, how, how can they say that when it was Maggie Thatcher told us to stock our larders? I mean, with 500 bottles of gin. Yeah, but if you if you drink a bottle of gin a day, that that's only a year and a half supply. That's not a lot. Fizzy Liebfrau Milch. I don't think I'll be able to convince customs that's for my personal consumption. <laughs> no. Other people were going berserk, perhaps because they didn't like their cars very much. Perhaps they wanted to have them squashed. Trouble is, I really am very, very fond of this car, and I don't want customs to crush it, so... Oh, my God. There we are. Saved a few quid. Well, pence. Now, I should explain at this point... He should have loved the car, it would have been funny. Available. There's the Fiat Doblo, which is a trifle cheaper than this, but I think I'm right in saying it's the slowest accelerating car that money can buy in Britain today. Uh, 0 to 60 is 21 seconds. Then there's the Ford Torneo Connect. Oh, my God. What, is, what was with these cars? I don't want to think about that. That's so awful. Um, and then there's the Renault Kangoo. That's OK, but basically it's not as good as this. You have to have a Berlingo. Question is, diesel or petrol? Well, to help us decide that, I've been joined now by Top Gear's new car trader, pocket-sized chap, Jason Dorr. What do you reckon? Petrol. Really? Don't, yeah, don't bother with the diesel. Makes you feel too much like a van. Well, it did feel like that. Going down the motorway, there was that noise, and you just think, look, I've saved enough. Oh, my God. Yeah, but you can save even more at the minute. Really? Yep, they are doing a facelift on this car, which means they're going to change the bumpers and the bonnet and a couple of bits, yeah. but it'll basically look the same. 
what it does mean is that Citroen have got some of the old ones. Who even is this? Get shot at them. These ones? Basically. Yeah. Is this yeah. an engineer? This car. Yeah. So what are they doing? They're doing a deal. You can get all of that off. So that means that instead of 8995, you can get a 1.4 for 7,700 pounds. 7,7 seven for seven one of seven. these? Yeah. That's the bargain of the century. Cheap as chips. Good tip. Alright, I'm ending the video there. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't know what year this was shot in where that car was a hot commodity. That car was a hot commodity. But I hope time travelers never go there. Don't ever go there, time travelers. That car is ugly. It doesn't even look like it would go away. Like, it literally looks like an ambulance. It looks like a mini version of an ambulance. Like if you just shrunk an ambulance down, obviously I know ambulance have like a little box and then like the actual truck part. That just looks like, like if you were to like stick someone in the back of that, like it would actually work. That's a clown car. There, that's the best phrase for it. Clown car. Let me know what you guys think. I don't have comments for that. I need something that I really thought he was going to stuff that car full of booze and I was actually going to have an absolute laugh while he did it. But I guess he just wanted one bottle because he genuinely liked the car. They paid him to talk about this car. They definitely paid him a lot of money to hype this car up because oh boy let me know what you guys think about it though down in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching and peace let me know your favorite top gear episode we'll definitely check it out